Hey guys, Skaz Montana here, the original demo disc player. I hope everyone's doing all right and everything. We've got another tier four guide for you guys, and this one is on the lab. Okay, so complete 100 source supply missions for the career progress tier four here. You have to steal the supplies, and they can be very annoying missions, and there's a hundred of them that we have to do. Now, there's been a method that I've been running recently, and I have found that this is the best way to source uh, these 100 supplies and also do multiple other things in the career progress but there's a couple of missions that really are annoying and those are the tractor missions now we're going to show you how to not get these tractor missions and there's actually three spawns for the tractor mission and they all spawn in grape seed now guys i'm going to link down in the description in the, the pinned comment a link to this interactive map by gtaweb.eu uh, shout out to gta web for letting me come up with this method by finding out that if you pop the acid lab in certain locations, but you also have to be within this location as well, not just the acid lab, you can't be down in Los Santos and the acid lab is up in Grapeseed whilst you're in Los Santos and ringing Mutt. It doesn't work that way. You can ring Mutt, but you have to be within the radius as well. Okay, so as you can see here, this big red circle, as long as the acid lab and yourself is there, that means that if you ring Mutt, nothing is going to spawn in that radius. No sourcing missions of that type that are in that area are going to spawn within that uh, big circle so as you can see here all of the different sourcing missions that can possibly spawn in gta 5 online and the worst of the worst is in grapeseed because like i said that's what a tractor missions spawn guys the quickest way to do these 100 supplies is actually to have this two car garage in grapeseed okay own this two car garage in grapeseed and then for the new invite only session spawning in this garage come out of it with whatever vehicle you put in there then spawn the acid lab in the interaction menu through services and then ring much straight away as you're ringing Mutt, you're heading towards mckenzie airfield to the very end of it spawning your ride you in the second you get off of your or out of your personal vehicle that, that you was driving there and then jump in the ride you and start heading to whatever mission it's going to send you even if it sends you to the one in lsia okay because if it does then all you got to do is go back to the freak shop and it's all good to go now guys when you do finish some of these missions it tells you you can actually spawn the acid lab right next to the mission but you don't actually want to do that all the time okay because we don't want this mission to spawn i mean it's a five minute call down on the acid lab when you spawn it uh, if you spawn it next to the mission that you just completed say you completed the crash site in the rat and canyons area you don't want to spawn it there you want to go straight back to grapeseed deliver it and then whilst you've delivered it and you're inside the acid lab then source another one from inside the acid lab and then get out and then get into your ride and then continue to do that mission the only time you want to spawn in the acid lab when you have just completed a sourcing mission is when you know that, that last mission that you have just done is going to be the last one to fill up the bars so you can't even do another sourcing mission for now okay and if it does give you an annoying one in the city that you really don't want to do like the lsia forklift mission then just find a new session and then continue doing something else for five minutes it's a five minute cooldown on spawning the acid lab and there's plenty of things to do in the career progress to be mixing this in with the lot okay and guys if you don't have to ride you just use the mark ii or some sort of other aerial vehicle if you like that you can spawn but guys we're just going to go for a couple of hints and tips with some of these missions here now if you get the one where's the crash site you don't have to actually put on the suit okay as long as you've got snacks and body armor in fact you don't even need snacks and body armor if you haven't been shot up that much you just run and grab the crate and get out of there you don't need to grab the suit I only grab the suit if you're completely out of snacks and body armor you've got hardly any health and with the forklift mission as long as the chemicals don't get shot then you won't have to drive with the messed up vision okay um so you can stop it from getting shot um inside the warehouse by being very careful obviously but when you get outside it's gonna be waves of enemies spawning i'm not exactly sure how many waves uh, of enemies spawn here but it's two cars and you can kill them until they just stop spawning and then just go and drive there without having the blurry vision but to be honest uh, if it's the lsia one that's the only one i would recommend that you might want to do that with but the other locations are closer anyway so i wouldn't really bother doing that uh, if it's the other location that's just close to the freak shop anyway and with the airdrop mission you can use the ride you to go into vtal mode and do this bit stealth you're looking for a crate with a red flashing light and you want to use the snap rifle to shoot down the crate by shooting it right here then get back in the ride you and then leave the area now 
Guys, like I say, you want to go back to Grapeseed every single time. There's no, going to be no missions that are going to send you and grab crates that are going to be in Lost Sentinels. All of the crate missions, we have to bring them back to the Acilab, are actually in and around Sandy Shores and Polito Bay and all of that. There is actually one mission where it tells you to grab a van. You have to go to Polito Bay first, get a little a clipboard, and then check three different vans, and then one of the vans is going to then be the van, and then you have to bring that back to the freak shop. That's the only mission that might take you the longest up there. But um, all the rest of them are absolutely fine using this Raiju and Grapeseed method with the uh, owned property there. Now, guys, with the 10 million, which uh, I haven't done much of it yet because I've been selling most of it in a invite-only session, but you can sell it in public sessions to get the high demand bonus and speed that process up. And if anybody comes for you, stops shooting at you or you know you're about to get blown up or even if you do you actually get blown up just quickly close the app and then you'll get your supplies back okay so that's how you get 10 million quickly i'm in no rush to get any of these done guys i'm just enjoying doing a mix of everything and when i come up with these methods i try and upload a guide for you guys so you guys can obviously benefit off of these uh, time saving uh, methods and all of that so Guys, let us know what you think about the method. Drop a comment down below and hit the like button if you found this guide helpful. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more GTA videos like this one. Have a lovely day. Godspeed. We'll see you in the next one. And peace out.